Kids, I'm Celine, showing up on your screen to lead you through another fabulous find, Lint Edition. So listen up and get ready for some fun! I'm a scientist and I look after plants. I was given this plant by my Uncle Mac on my birthday. He said, Celine, you're six years old. You're old enough for some responsibility, so make sure you keep it alive. I love plants, and I was so excited to take super good care of it. I gave it water, made it sit in the sand, and even sang to it. But then one day, it just died. It was dead, dead, dead. Look! I was so sad. I did everything right, but it was still gone, and it's never coming back. That's what happens when something dies. It's gone forever. Oh, Pat, why did you die? Why do you have to leave me, my dearest plant? You were the best plant ever. Why did you have to die? But you know what's amazing? That's not what happened to Jesus. So listen up and see if you can catch the most amazing miracle in the whole Bible. Hint, hint, Jesus comes back from the dead. The day after the Sabbath day was the first day of the week. At dawn on the first day, Mary Magdalene and another woman named Mary went to look at the tomb. At that time, there was a strong earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven. The angel went to the tomb and rolled the stone away from the entrance. Then he sat on the stone. He was shining as bright as lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The soldiers guarding the tomb were very frightened of the angel. They shook with fear and then became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, the one who was killed on the cross. But he is not here. He has risen from death as he said he would. Come and see the place where his body was and go quickly and tell his followers. Say to them, Jesus has risen from death. He is going to Galilee. He will be there before you. You will see him there. Then the angel said, Now I have told you. The women left the tomb quickly. They were afraid, but they were also very happy. They ran to tell Jesus' followers what had happened. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said greetings. The women came up to Jesus, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Even though Jesus died, he didn't stay dead. God brought him back to life. It's like he beat the biggest, baddest, boss level of all, death itself. And because Jesus beat death, we get the most awesome gift ever. We can live forever with him in heaven. It's like he turned the saddest goodbye into the happiest hello. Can you believe that? So Easter is a super special day for not just remembering that Jesus came back to light. We're celebrating that he made a way for us to be with him forever. Isn't that the best news ever? With Jesus, even when things seem really sad and forever, there's always hope for something amazing and new. Just like spring coming after winter, or a new plant growing from the old. Let's celebrate Easter and share this amazing news with everyone. <laughs>